What is going on YouTube? This is Shiny Gengar TCG here, and we are going to be doing a tutorial today of Dungeon Dice Monsters. I am here again with Dimension the Design. I love how he uh, puts the emphasis on his name. And <laughs> we're going to be showing you, like I said, a tutorial on Dungeon Dice Monsters. It was a game uh, on Yu-Gi-Oh! that was played towards the end of Season 1. It was about four episodes. Instead of using cards, they used dice, cards, and figures. Um, they created it into a real game um, that kind of took off in Japan, but never really took off here in the United States. So, I'm going to be passing it off here to my partner in crime for this video to explain a little bit more on how to play and teach you guys and myself how to truly play this game. So what's up guys, uh, so I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to play the game. I don't know if you guys do own it or have heard of it, but it's extremely fun. I do recommend looking into it. Uh, first off, I also want to show you guys this custom made map uh, grid that I created for the game. Uh, you can find me on eBay or Instagram, Dimension the Design, and uh, check it out. There will be more products up soon, and uh, yeah, so let's get started. So basically, like you said, we have what we call our dice pool. And the monsters are ranked 1 to 4. So depending on the ranking is how powerful they are, but the more powerful they are is how is... The, the harder it is to summon, sorry about that. Um, each dice consists of different crests. You got your movement, your attack, your defense, your trap, your magic, and your summon. Um, the game for the US came with these dungeon paths. Uh, you got your red and your blue. Uh, unlike the US, the Japanese had actual dice, which opened up to the dungeon path, which I thought was extremely cool and uh, something that the US should incorporate it in the actual design. This is uh, one of the paths. You can check it out. Definitely looks a lot different than right. the U.S. design. Right. A lot more intricate yeah, than the U.S. Yeah. design. So much more work into it than yes. uh, just this nice and a piece of, piece of cardboard. cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, and uh, depending on the monsters, how the path would look, and the dice itself played a part on what type of monster was being summoned, uh, So, which was extremely cool. Here's another one. This is actually Obelisk the Tormentor's Pass, uh, which is one of my favorite four-star creatures that I have. All right, so let's get started on actually playing. I'll help you out. Yeah, thanks. All right, so for the beginning, we'll be using our monster lords as Seto Kaiba. To, uh, I will be Yugi. <laughs> and Yugi boy on the right over here. So to determine on what monsters go on each deck, we're gonna do a quick and easy way of doing it. Uh, we're gonna divide it between one, Two, three, and four. So these are the levels of the monsters, yeah. correct? Yeah. Okay, awesome. So your team is consisted of ten monsters. Let's pull three level ones, three level twos, three level threes, and let's let's do actually a, a team of twelve right now. Let's make it interesting. You know, three of each. Three okay. of each. You know, Let's do it. it's it's better. I mean, I'll let you pick first since uh, all right, so you I'll, have the home field advantage. Yeah, all right. So I'll pick my first level two, guys. Let's see what I get. All right. This is actually a printout made for myself because like, I had the figure, but without the card, it's actually an armor zombie. So it's not bad. All right. So I'll go next. I got Shadow Ghoul. We have played once before, and I did. <laughs> I love this monster, so I'll put that aside. That'll be my first pick. Effect. All right, let's see my level three. Let's get interesting here. Oh my god! All right, <laughs> the beautiful head Headhuntress. I have no idea why she's incorporated in this game. You can tell she only has twenty HP, ten attack, ten defense, and is a level three creature. Pretty much a waste of a summon, in my opinion. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! There's no waste of summons. All right, I'll I'll take a level three as well. I got the Fire Wing. Pegasus does not look like a bad card. Not bad. Looks oh, a man. little similar to <laughs> his card. Yeah, um, certain monsters have the flying ability, like the fl like the Fire Wing Pegasus. Uh, I'm trying to explain everything little by little as we go on. Okay, I see. Uh, it. Which have the ability to fly over monsters that don't have the flying ability. So, oh, so that would give me a bit of an advantage. Yeah, on yeah this, uh... exactly, exactly. You know, so 
There's also a ton of Lee monsters that do the same thing. They go under the creatures pretty much. So this is my level one. It's a dragon, a dark fire dragon. Uh, pretty cool creature. All right, I'll take my level one as well. And I got Vorse Raider. This is a pretty well-known card, even in the actual card game. So I'll be putting him aside. I thought I was Kyber in this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see my level four pool. Oh, Yugi always has the heart of the cards. Check it out. Talk about Seto Kaiba's freaking uh, heart in this. All right, I I definitely have to show you guys this uh, figure. It's a beauty. I mean, it's gold. It's obelisk. How much more amazing can you get, you know? <laughs> Alright, so you picked a level four, right? So yeah. I have Magician mm -hmm. Dragon. Oh, that is a um, pretty cool card, man. He has a great ability, actually. Nice. Can't wait to play with him. So let's speed it up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, how many cards we got so far each? We have four each. Um, we have one of each, I believe. So let's just... Alright, so we're just going to pull. And uh, these are my two level ones, ones. that I have left. Alright, so I'll grab two level ones as well. So I got Armored Ninja and Power Dragon. Alright. Knight of the Twin Swords and Gator Dragon. Nice. Alright. Let's do this. I got Gear Free the Iron Knight and Knight of Twin Swords. Oh, the knights are loving me tonight. <laughs> Buster Blader and Strike Ninja. Two oh. iconics right here. Definitely. Oh, Strike Ninja as well. <laughs> and, and a, a Buster <laughs> Blader. <laughs> We're going to make this an interesting game. <laughs> right. All right, my last two level fours. Ah, Mighty Mage, nice. And Oregon the Relentless, another favorite of mine. Nice. All right, my turn. We got Crocosaurus <laughs> and another Firewind Pegasus. That's a level three, right? Level three. Oh, yeah, it was a level yep. three. Actually, I got to pick another level four. Yeah, take that. That should be Sorry. taken out. Level four. Uh, I got Orgoth the, the Relentless. Okay. Now we're ready to rumble. Yeah, my collection is pretty, uh, I have a lot of doubles just in case, you know, we need them. And, oh, definitely. Uh, you always need doubles. Too, man, so. Let's get started. Alright. I don't know if we'll be able to show the full game. We, we probably won't show the full game, but we'll pretty right, much so get into it. The official rules of how you would start is, uh, we would kind of build our dice pool in the beginning. Uh, we pretty much choose a dice to roll twice in the beginning. And you can go ahead, go first, since uh, it's your channel, buddy. All right, so how many <laughs> dice do I pick to roll? Uh, three dice. You could either combine, but you want to get a matching dice. All right, so any, so it could be any level? Yeah, any level you can start off with. All right, so I could even start off with a level four, you're telling yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. We'll okay, so let's, let's see what we got. Uh, to summon a level four monster, what do I need to roll? Uh, two level four something. Two level four something. Okay. Let's see. Wow. I got one, two, three level four symbols. So Talk basically, about luck. you can summon whatever level four monster you want straight up off the bat. Nice. <laughs> Talk well, about luck there. Let me see who I am going to summon. I am actually going to summon Orgoth the Relentless, who is a pretty awesome card. Um, so what? how do I place the... Pieces. Okay. Do I pick up a random piece and place it down? Do we start in the middle? Yeah. All right. So, all right. So your monster lord right here, your Yugi, yes. is on a specific uh, square. Yeah. So this is pretty much where every path is going to be linked to. Okay. So your path has to be linked to your dungeon lord. Okay. It cannot be uh, diagonally. It has to be directly connected. Directly connected. And the rest of your path has to continue along your paths. It cannot be linked to mine. If it's over here, starting over here, you can't put your path over here. Yes, it okay. constantly be so, touching it. So, does it matter which piece I use? No, or I could use no, any piece. No, All right. Do you want to be blue, or would you like to be red? No, no, you're red, man. Okay, so you I'll be red. Me, you know? I'll actually just leave the piece that's here. My monster does go on the star. If yep. I'm correct. Exactly. And right. that is it for this turn. No, you get to roll actually one more time. I get to roll one yeah, more time. But you can only oh. summon one monster per your double roll in the beginning. Awesome. So, so that's to help build your pool. I will do. Green dice, level four dice again. Let's see. Okay, so I have a shield. I have what's well, a trap crest? Trap crest and, and magic with a times two. Magic so with a times two. You would put that in your dice pool. So which are these advocate? Pool. So then I would do one of these. 
Um, I have one of these and two magics. So then my dice pool, I'll leave it on display right here. So that, that is what I have for my draw. All right, cool. All right, so I want to test, I don't want to test my luck like you did. <laughs> I definitely want to get myself some monsters on the board for defense. And le the level one are the easiest to summon. Uh, they have three level ones on the dice. So it's a half 50-50 chance of getting that. Uh, so I get to summon something. And I'm gonna go with my iconic Kaiba monster, huh. Vorse Raider. Where is that guy? There he is. Check him out, check him out, guys. Check him out. These figures are amazing, in my opinion. Alright, and let's see what else I get. Uh, no crest for me, so, alright. Now you get a single roll. All right, and, uh, so I get a single roll, so let's see what we do here. All right, so I have two movements right. and a three, which if I don't have doubles, I understand I can't summon. Exactly. So I could move my uh, Orgoth, the Relentless, but I'm actually just going to put it into my dice pool. Dice pool. All awesome. right, so cool. So now I'm, I want to test my level four to see, see what I get. No luck, no luck. But I <laughs> no, get... dice. <laughs> no dice! <laughs> no dice! No dice! dice. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but I get to actually build my dice pool, which is pretty cool. So either way, I don't mind. Alright, All right. awesome. I am going to roll the threes again, just because I'd like to summon a level three monster. So, let's see. Wow, I have a lot of movement crafts. Definitely need One, two, three. three. So I have three of those. I'll mark those. And we'll continue on. All right, let's get a level two out here. I want to show some monsters. Ah, come on. <laughs> two movements, one magic. So I'm not trying to be cocky. <laughs> my, this is like my third time playing, but let's see if I can pull out a level two. And I do. Look at that. Triple and star I get a triple summon. Triple star. There is a rule, too, where you get a triple star summon. You get to go up in summon if you want. Uh, I particularly don't play with that role, but if you want to, I don't mind. That's I mean, fine. We'll just play Nora, and we'll play... It's two. We're going to summon a two. <laughs> I'm going to summon <laughs> Shadow Ghoul. Yeah, South Rules is right. <laughs> I don't want to get kicked out, guys. Right. <laughs> so I'm going to play Shadow Ghoul. I am going to try to make this as quick as possible, so I'm going to make a straight line towards his Kaiba, and I do need the Shadow Ghoul. No strategy needed right now. <laughs> yeah, no strategy needed right now. Yeah, cute it's basically guy. like a chess match. But with Yu-Gi-Oh! Monsters. <laughs> right. Alright, come on. Let's see. Wow. <laughs> you know, when you want to summon something, you can't summon mm -hmm. something. When power. you want to move something, you it's can't It's the power move. of my channel. That's it, man. <laughs> right. It's the power of my channel. Okay, we're running out of space here, so I'm going to roll those up there. I got two movement crests and one level one. So I'll add my two movement crests to my... Alright, I'm stubborn. Going with that level two again. Alright. All right, off camera, off camera. I'm sorry to say. Uh, let's see what we have here. Okay. Two level twos two and level twos. two movements. Awesome. All right. Finally got that. We finally got the the two level twos. All right. Let's got see. what you want. Let's make my path a little more complex. We're almost there. We're almost there. Okay. What should we summon here. Uh, let's summon the Gator Dragon. Some dragons. Kaiba is famous for that. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Nice. Do you want to put your cards on yeah, that sure, just so sure, sure. that the viewers can see the lovely designs <laughs> of the cards? Since we are just going in a straight line instead of doing any strategy. All right. I'm going to be rolling level three dice. So I do get wow. <laughs> triple level threes. That wow. Crazy. Oops. Sorry. The, the dice are on my side tonight. <laughs> so I am going to take out Buster Blader. Beautiful and I am going to do that with... I could do this, correct? Yeah. yeah. Alright, awesome. Down so there, I'm going to do it like that. And Buster Blader is going to come out. Now, the main question is, now that I'm connected to your path, am I allowed to walk on your yeah, path? Yeah, you definitely want okay. to go on my path and uh, destroy my monsters, get to my heart points. I only have three. <laughs> and do I have to do that? Before my dice roll movements or after my dice roll? After your roll. So, so after my roll. So right now I could move. Yeah. Is that correct? Okay. 
So how would I know if I'm allowed to attack you? Would we need the attack? Yes. Okay, so if I just move, I'm just standing in front of you and looking your exactly. dragon in the face, and uh, <laughs> pretty much that's all that's going to happen. So you know what? Just in honor of the <laughs> what I just said, I'm going to move my Buster Blader. Can he move backwards as well? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it would be one, two, three, four, which I do have, so I lose these. Two, three, four. And now I'm just staring his dragon right in the face. <laughs> All right, let's see if I get an attack press to try and do something. Just to explain how attacking and defending works in the game. Oh, no, I get a summon, though. All right, so I filled up my movement crest. I can no longer fill it up. Uh, let's get another level two out here. Let's get the armored zombie out here. Why not? I... He looks threatening enough. Let's, <laughs> let's try and cut the path over here so you're not able to summon to my side. Where is that guy? Here he is. Alright. Check him out. Sorry. Look at that face. <laughs> the figures are pretty awesome for this game, dude. Alright, so we're gonna do some level two dice. Hopefully, get some attack. Crest. Let's see. Oh, man. I got two movement crests and a summon. Uh, just for the sake of this video, I am going to attach this right here. And I'm going to summon a level 2. I'm going to use Knight of the Twin Swords. So I'll just throw him here on top of Buster Blader and put him on the map. Alright. Alright, let's see what I get. Finally, some attack crests. Alright, so I get two attack crests. I have no space for movements. And I have one summon crest, which does nothing for me. Alright, so let's, let's explain how attacking and... Uh, Defending works in this okay. game. So right now I'm in range to attack your Buster Blader. My Gator Dragon has an attack of 10. You have a defense of 10, but without a crest, your defense is zero. So when I declare an attack and use one of my attack crests, uh, your heart points will take 10 damage. So okay. 30 minus 10, 20. So 20. Exactly. So your Buster Blader only has 20 HP left. Okay, I got it. Uh, we would use the hit points that we have, uh, but let's just continue on with the game. Okay, and, uh, so I'm going to roll some, another set of twos, <clears throat> actually roll them back here, and I have a bunch of movement, I have four <laughs> movement crests, so I'll add those, and now I'm maxed out on movements, so right. I'm gonna test I'll be my... hanging out for a little while. Let's test the luck here and see if I get an Obelisk the Tormentor out here. Uh oh. For the, oh my god, for the viewing pleasure, Obelisk the Tormentor. <laughs> I wish uh, we could add in that sound <laughs> that he gets when he's summoning the show. Uh, this beautiful guy, God, this guy. I, just, I, don't, I don't know how much these figures are amazing. Uh, just this is great. Now, Obelisk, as amazing as he is in this game, he does have his setbacks, but um, he does have when uh, he is dimensioned successfully, I get to place one damage counter on every monster in the dungeon if I have four trap press. I do not have four trap press, so the effect does not activate. Um, and he also, in order to move one square in the dungeon, it takes three movement crests for this guy to move. Wow. Yeah. So right now, if I wanted to get to your Buster Blader, three, six, nine, twelve. 15 it would take, and I don't even have 15. I don't have space for 15. So it would definitely take a couple turns to get there. Definitely. So hopefully I can finally get some time rest and start moving forward on your board. So I'll roll those. Oh, I get to summon a level 2 monster. So let's see what I summon. I'll actually do it right here. We're just going to go over the cards in this case. And I'm going to summon... Gear Freed, the Iron Knight. So I'll put that card over here just to have everything available. And I'll put that figure down here. Yeah, check him out. Check him out. All right, so let's see what I get here. All right. <laughs> the attack crest that you need, man. <laughs> <laughs> Two magic, one trap. Let's move my obelisk. Nine spaces. Three, six, nine, which is only three for him. I want to see if I can get an attack your Buster Blader. Sorry, man. <laughs> no problem. All right, so I'm going to roll some dice. I'll do it over here because now we're really running out of room. And I, still no attack crest for me. I had the luck summoning, but I do not 
I can't even put any more movement crests. <laughs> so, um, like I said, I had the luck summoning everything, but I did not have the luck of the draw. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I got another movement, and I got two defense crests, which is vitally important in the game. Uh, your move. All right. Let's go. Heart of the dice. <laughs> still, still slacking here. Oh, you e boy. Come on. I am. Um, as you, I have no heart of anything right now. <laughs> Let's see what I get. Oh, man. Triple, single, one, one star summon. All right. So I want to show you guys also an item. Uh, typically, you would uh, put these face down so your opponent doesn't know what item you put down because there's a couple in the game. And they are shown by these chess figures, which is pretty cool. Um, the only setback with items is your opponent can land on it too and steal it if it is a power up boost like this one is. But luckily for me, I'm gonna put it all the way back here where my monsters are. I'm gonna be able to take it. All right. So I have all right. So just to <clears throat> put these out, put your dice over there. And I will roll my dice. Movements and defense. movements and <laughs> defense. <laughs> oh my goodness! I am. Oh man, this is. I don't know what's going on, guys. All right, let's see what we got here. Yeah, four attacks. Four press. attacks. And uh, one magic. Maybe you want to use some blue uh, level two. Yeah, I plan to next turn. <laughs> All right, go ahead, man. Test your luck. All right, let's see. Wow! <laughs> and I get to summon! You have any more level twos? Um, no, I do not, no, so I, I do not get to summon anything. Yeah, I'm just trying to get those uh, attack crests out there. Alright, let's see, let's see. Alright, two attacks, two movements. Alright, that's what I call some luck on this. Alright, so I'm gonna move Obelisk one more space, which cost me three movement crests. Alright, and I end my turn. Okay, so. Come on, come on, guys! Blow on the dice. Give me some luck. <laughs> Go. Dice. Yes, two uh, two attack. Even though I just screwed up. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. So I finally got two attack, and with that, right. I should be able to attack with yeah. my Buster Blader. Buster Blader goes on the offensive now. Uh, so my so. Buster Blader is on the offensive. All right. So this is how it pretty much did to work. All right. You have forty attack. I only have ten defense. Thirty HP. Even if I were to defend, I would pretty much die. Okay. So it's pointless for me to defend against that so and waste a crest. Boom. And my Gator Dragon is gone. Can I move after I attack in this game? Yeah, you you can. Um, if you didn't move in your initial, but you can attack after. Your okay, I got gotcha. you. So I am going to move my Buster Blader. Yeah, uh, he has an effect as well, which I could have used uh, with the defense, but uh, just for the sake of the game and getting moving <laughs> along, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, we we uh, won't use effects this yeah, video just yeah. because of that. Otherwise, we just want to get this along, show you guys how to play, uh, and hopefully, you know, draw some new fans into the game. All right, so now with my Buster Blader, I plan to move one, two, three, four, uh, three spaces. One, two, three. So I'm going to lose three movement crests. And I am done for this turn. Alright, so now it's my turn. So I wasted all those movement crests on my obelisk just to see his Buster Blader run away from me. <laughs> Alright, so I have two movements, two attacks, which fills my attack crests. My Vorse Reader is going to go on the offensive now and attack his Buster Blader. So how much will my Buster Blader lose? Okay, do you have any defense crests? I actually have two. All right, so you would use one, typically, uh, with your 10. So with minus 20, minus 10, you would only take 10 10 HP. damage. Okay, okay. So, so you I only have, have 10 left. So I have 10 left, beginning. yes. Yeah. Okay, so now, hopefully I can knock out that Force Raider by getting some attack. Oh, oh, man. I actually have two. You actually so, have two, yeah. <laughs> so I'll use that. I can summon a level two. I do get... One more of these guys, and I'll summon my level two. We'll just... Oh, I actually don't have a level two. <laughs> Stupid me. All right. So uh, with my Buster Blader, I will use my crust, uh, my attack, and my attack does yeah. uh, 40. 40. And I only have 10 HP. He only 10 has 10, defense. so Force Raider no is... That either. Gone. Yep, he's gone. Guard, he's done, and he is finished. <laughs> and then I will move two spaces to be right in front of Kaiba with my blade ready to strike. I believe I get three strikes. 
Yeah. Before the game is uh, over. Yeah, so in this uh, situation, your monster lord only has three hit points, and he also has ten attack. Uh, so he can be in the offense when he is when he has a monster in front of him. Uh, so, but luckily for you, you have a defense crest, you know. Uh, you can defend yourself. So let me roll, because I want to get rid of that Buster Blader. It's, the luck is not on my side for that. Uh, and it's your turn? Oh, yeah. I right, ended my turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so real quick, I'm going to roll. All right, I have two attacks, no level two monster once again. So I now have three attacks left. I'm going to attack his Kaiba once. My first hit point. So he has two left. Yeah. And yeah. it is his turn, so I'm almost there, guys. It's almost there. <laughs> right. It's almost there. Right, let's draw a combined level four. Wow. All right. That's what I call block. All right. Oregon. The Relentless. Buddy. Show them your power. All right. All right let's see where we can put you to try and save the day over here. <laughs> and I have three exact movement crests. So I can attack you, and I have a 30 attack, and you only had 10 HP left, so, so even with your blader. defense, you would be dead, yeah. So Buster Blader is gone. So I think we should cut the game here, uh, for the sake of the video. Yeah, uh, definitely. But we'll definitely be playing more, hopefully in the future. Uh, this is a great game. I highly recommend you guys look it up, try and play, see, see, the, see what we see in it, and uh, just enjoy it, you know? Yeah, it's definitely a fun game if you want to get away from the TCG world of Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, you know, Magic the Gathering. It's a, just a fun little variant to play of Yu-Gi-Oh with most of the Yu-Gi-Oh monsters that we all grew up with. Um, even if you're watching Yu-Gi-Oh now, you probably do see some of these cards when you are battling, uh, dueling, sorry, other people. Um, and, you know, it, overall, I really enjoyed learning more of how to play. I did not know there was an obelisk figure, which is really, really cool. And, yeah, this was definitely a fun little tutorial to do together. Uh, we did also do our unboxing video prior to this, which will be on my channel of the Flames of Destruction box set. Uh, we did it together. We did a little pack versus pack challenge. And there is a giveaway going on in that video. Um, this video sadly will not be having a giveaway um, because these are not my Dungeon Dice Monsters, so I cannot give away something that isn't mine. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Sorry, <laughs> but, guys. <laughs> but it, you know, it was a fun game to play, and you do not see it very often, and you do not see very... You don't see too many videos on this. Um, if you guys did like our little video, please comment in the comment section below. We could do a full game with effects and everything. We just need a little bit more time. And sadly, today I'm cut short on a little bit of time. Um, I only have a little bit of time left, actually, because I'm going to see Avengers Infinity Wars tonight. Uh, and Great. everybody keeps trying to ruin the movie for me, so I need to go <laughs> see that. If you guys did like our content, subscribe. Um, add us both on Instagram. My Instagram is ShinyGengarTCG, and remember guys, to dimension the design is his Instagram. Um, he does make custom play mats for Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, and Dungeon Dice. This current play mat um, is up on eBay right now. Um, I'll put the link in the description, and I also will link his eBay in the description. And if you would like a custom mat design, uh, please... You know, you can put a note in the comment section below, or you can message me on Instagram, and I'll forward you over to him. And uh, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, if you like this video, once again, subscribe. Check out our other Pokemon booster box openings and Yu-Gi-Oh! Flames of Destruction uh, box opening. And uh, that's it. This is Shiny Gengar TCG signing out. Thanks for viewing.